Hello guys, Motops here, we're back with another Minecraft episode and today's episode is gonna be about a really cool compact semi-automatic cow farm. As you can see here, it is here as you can see. So I'm gonna show you how to build it and first, before I show you how to build it, I'm gonna show you how it works. So basically, we have two modes in this farm. We have breeding mode and kill mode. Guys, let me just go make it um, day, as you can see here, so you can see better. So when you when you press this button, it will actually go in breeding mode, and you go can go on top and breed all your cows, as you can see here with your wheat, and all the babies, as you can see, are gonna be dropped on the sides. So you're gonna have to wait until all the babies are dropped, as you can see here. There is no more babies here. You go on to kill mode. Kill mode is basically gonna place um, a lava bucket on top of your baby cows, so immediately when they actually grow, let me just try it with the wheat. When they grow, immediately they will actually die uh, with the lava, and they will actually drop all their stuff in here, and you would have some cooked beef and some leather. So guys, this is pretty cool farm, and we're gonna be showing you how to build it. First of all, if uh, all the materials needed are gonna be in the description, guys, so go check it out. So, uh, first of all, we're going to actually build a 5x4 uh, area, or we're going to actually place our farm. So basically, we just build a 5x4 area, and here we go. And after you build that, go on your 5 blocks area, as you can see here, and place a block in the middle. Then you're going to use hoppers, as you can see here. Make a hopper going behind the chest, and make sure, guys, it goes into the chest, and two hoppers going into this hopper. As you can see here, now we have doing the same thing as here. And after you do that, you will need some more blocks and place two blocks on top of this hopper. And after you do this, you, we're gonna place two layered uh, wall behind all of our hoppers, as you can see here. And then we're gonna actually place our dispensers, guys. So let me just go grab some dispensers from here. Dispensers, we're gonna need actually three of them. Because we're going to need one for water, one for lava, and yeah, that's is basically it. Now place block in here, and place another dispenser, as you can see here. So now we have all of our dispensers intact. What we're going to do next, as you can see here, we are going to build this layer, which is a five block high uh, beside this hopper, as you can see. So three, five, like this. You go five blocks high, and this will make sure that no cows will actually escape from our little farm. So as you can see, we're actually almost done. This farm is pretty much um, easy to build. Uh, the other thing that we're gonna actually do is build blocks on top of these dispensers, all of them, and we'll, we'll have to reach the same height of the other farm, as you can see. So it is five blocks height. What we're gonna do now, basically actually done. So now let's go bring some water and you will need Two buckets of lava and one bucket of lava, uh, water, guys, sorry. So we place the two lava buckets on the bottom here, and then you place the water bucket on top. Now we are almost done. We're gonna actually need to now place our signs, guys. It's obvious that we're gonna use signs to make sure the lava doesn't go everywhere, and so it kills our cows safely. So we place two signs, as you can hear, as you can see here, and this is where it's gonna be our um yeah this is we're gonna be our lava guys so now we're gonna do we're gonna actually place two blocks like this guys make sure you do the same thing that i'm actually doing right now and guys make sure to use um iron trap doors i'm gonna tell you why guys these are pretty important but it doesn't matter if you have like a cow farm like a just a breedable cow farm it just matters in survival so you go and place a trap door as you can see here in this block this side and go to the other side facing this wall this side as you can see here these are really important guys don't miss them and we're basically done we're gonna actually cover it up with glass you can do whatever block you want but i think glass is the most uh, static block in minecraft oh i broke that by accident sorry guys so yeah guys uh, let's just cover it up so it looks cool and now, uh, the only thing that we actually need to do right now is actually place use these slabs. We're going to also need slabs. Um, let me just remove this. So place four slabs here because sometimes when you breed a lot of cows, some of them will actually go out. 
Another thing that you can actually do is remove these bottoms here and place slabs like this. If you want to use your sword, it's your choice, but I don't um, think it's the most effective way. I think using lava is much better. Now we're gonna move on to the redstone. So we're gonna need one button. We're gonna need, let's go behind and see, we're gonna need a redstone torch and a redstone dust. Let me just go get it real quick, guys. This is what we're gonna need. So basically remove this uh, metal block here and place a redstone dust. Then use a block and build it just like this, guys. You can, if, if it's hard to place like this, just place a block here and block here and remove the first block, as you can see here. Then place a redstone torch on top and bang! You should have the water flowing and if it doesn't happen, just remove it and place it until you have your water. After you did that, just place your button in here and we're basically done. So now the next step is gonna be getting our cows in there. Since I'm in uh, creative, I can just use the eggs but I will actually show you how to get them in survival. So basically we're gonna lure them with our wheat and basically when you put them here, you, you want to put yeah, trapdoors. So I'm going to show you why. You remove these um, slabs and place trapdoors like this. Uh, not trapdoors, but uh, levers. That will activate this trapdoor. That means the baby cows won't actually drop in the lava pit. That means you can actually breed them and have a little uh, number here. So you can use them for breeding. So yeah, that's what we're going to be using the trapdoors for. And now let me just bring some cows in here since I have eggs you can just put as many as you want uh, the more you put the more effective it will be so as you can see now we placed a few ama uh, good amount of cows now just use our wheat and bang we breed them this is breeding mode guys I told you about and all as you can see all the babies are gonna be dropping on the sides guys don't worry even if there is two sides sometimes there is no cows in the other side but that doesn't matter press the button and here we go we are in kill mode and you can actually let's say if they grow and just use wheat on them as you can see they grow they will actually start um dying of the fire and you'll have automatic cooked beef so guys thank you for watching uh, today's video i hope you like this little uh, farm compact really easy to build and provide to an infinite uh, food source so guys thank you for watching today's video if you liked it make sure you like the video and you unsub from the channel because I've been losing a lot actually. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching, I guess. I hope you like the farm and tell me in the comments what you want to see next. I can do whatever you guys want. And yeah guys, uh, it was me, Mudstop. Bye!